Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are Good you evening, today? teacher. Fine. Thank you. How about you? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. How was your day? What? How was your day? Did you have a good day? Yes, teacher. Yes, I did. Good yes. evening, teacher. Raining hard. Harder than Monday? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, uh, usually we have hard Mondays, but like, I don't know, something is changing because uh, now, I, I don't know why now, uh, Tuesdays are getting harder than Monday, but but we did it. We did it. <laughs> so um, today we're going to continue with yesterday's topic. Um, we're going to finish hopefully the section number two for today. Uh, so let me share my presentation with you guys. Okay, here is where we stopped yesterday. Uh, we were discussing about the questions, the type of questions that we have in the simple past and, and in all the tenses, right? So we have the just no questions and WH or informative questions. We discussed the structure that they should have and then we talk a little bit about the simple past with the bird B. You remember? Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. So we're going to continue with this. And here is uh, where we were discussing about simple past. Uh, we discussed the structures of the questions, and we said that when we, whenever we are asking a question, we use always the auxiliary did, and the verb doesn't change. We use the verb in the simple form. We don't change it because we have the helping verb or the auxiliary verb that already indicates simple past, so it is not necessary to change the verb. However, if we are making an affirmative statement, we have to change the verb, okay? We have to change it to past. Uh, for example here, did you work on Saturday? That's the question. Yes, I did. Yes, the short answer stops here. Yes, I did. Now I am making an affirmative statement. I worked all day. So I changed the verb with the ED, right? I worked all day. Or if I make a negative statement, I use the auxiliary didn't or did not. And I don't change the verb. No, I didn't. I, did, I didn't work all day. So remember that we're going to be conjugating or changing the verb to simple past only when we are making affirmative statements. Um, and also to change the verb with ED, we need to follow some spelling rules. Most of the verbs in simple past, we just add ED but there are some spelling rules. For example, if the verb end in E, we just add the letter D. For example, the verb live, as you can see, it ends in E. So we only add the D, live, lived. We have another example with search, third. Uh, if the verb end in vowel plus Y, we add ED. For example, stay, stayed, play, played. Ending in consonant plus Y, we have to change the Y to I and add ED. Like for example, the verb try. It also ends with Y, but before Y, we have a consonant. When this is the case, we have to change the Y for I and add ED. 
We have another example here, carry. The same thing, carry. If the verb has one syllable with a single vowel and ending in single consonant, we double the final consonant and add the D. For example, note, noted, read, read. We double the last consonant. If the verb is a two syllable verb, the stress should be in the second syllable and ending in single consonant, we double the final consonant and add ED. So the verb should be, uh, should have a stress in the second syllable to apply this rule. For example, if you listen, the verb commit, it's a two syllable verb, commit. And the stress is in the second syllable, commit, commit, right? commit. And it ends in consonant, vowel plus consonant, we double it and add ED. Questions? Is there any question? No questions? No, teacher. Okay. No for the moment. Uh, cool. <laughs> If you have any question, you can ask. I know that this is a review. Okay. Sé que estamos repasando un tema que ya se vio anteriormente, pero igual si les queda alguna pregunta, pueden hacerla. So, what happened in this case? Aquí tenemos regular verbs. Um, those are the ones that follow rules. Yeah, we have irregular verbs. They don't follow a rule. And we have some examples of irregular verbs here. For example, do, it changes to did for the past. Drive, drove, have, had, go, went, sing, sang, see, saw, spend, spent. Now, let's review. We're going to complete the conversations applying the rules that we have already reviewed. The first one, we can do it together. Uh, you can do it in the notebook. You can just write the answers and then we share it. Uh, as you can see, number one, we have a question. This is you, the verb stay, and then home on Saturday. What do we need to place at the beginning? Deal. Yeah. Did, did, you, did, did you stay? Did, did you stay? You stay. stay. Do I have to change the verb? No. no. Because oh. you okay. stay. Excellent. Because we are using the auxiliary did, so we're not going to change the verb. Did you stay home on Saturday? No. I. Oh. Oh. No, I didn't call. Oh. Uh -huh. no, I, no, I didn't. No, I didn't call. Oh. No, I didn't call. No. Oh, did you stay home on Saturday? No. I oh. called. Uh -huh. I called my friend. We drove. Drove. Uh -huh. drove. We drove to a drove cafe to... for lunch. Cafe for lunch. Okay, no, I called my friends. We drove to a cafe for lunch. Good. Now, let's complete number two, three, four, and five. I'll give you some time for you to complete it. You can write the answers in your notebook and then we're going to check. Okay. Okay. Thank you. 
Y no, y lo acaban de conectar. Have you finished? Yes, teacher. Excellent. We're going to check your answers. Okay, can you see my screen? No. No? No, no. no. What? Okay. I'm going to try it again. Share screen. Now, this is it. Now? Yes. 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 Okay, let's check your answers. Here we are. Okay. Ah, number two. How did you spend? Your last birthday. Yes. Yes. I had yes. a party. Yes. Everyone enjoyed it. Yes. But the neighbors didn't like the noise. Yes. What did you do last night? I saw a 3D yes. movie at the Cineplex. I loved it. Yes. 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 Did you do anything special over the weekend? Yes. yes, I did. Yes. I went shopping. Unfortunately, I yes. spent all my money. Now I'm broke. Yes. yes. Did you go out on Friday night? Yes. No, I didn't. I invited friends over and cooked dinner for them. Yes. yes. Okay, so were your answers correct? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Great. Excellent. Teacher. Teacher. Yes. Excuse me. Um, I'm, I'm, work, I'm broke. I'm broke. Yes. Es como decir estoy en... Um, right. Estoy en la ruina, sin dinero, en bancarrota, I'm broke. Mm -hmm. Qué En quiebra, uh, estoy en quiebra. That's the word. Yes, thank pero, you. Y, y, y la forma del verbo es el broke, de quiebra. ¿Cómo sería, teacher? Break. Yeah, break. Break. Uh -huh. break. Uh, entonces es el uh -huh. pasado, teacher. The y past, está conjugado yes. con el am. Teacher, uh -huh. una Porque duda. Es am, am broke. Ajá, uh -huh, because in that case está funcionando como noun. Uh -huh. Yo tengo no. una. Yo tengo oh, una. Adjetivo. Ajá, está funcionando como un adjetivo. Está describiendo el estado. ¿Cómo estoy? En quiebra, quebrado. No está funcionando como verbo. Ok, ok. Eh, Alguien tenía una duda por ahí, dijo también. Sí, Aida, yo. Eh, no es correcto decir I went to shopping. Solo I went shopping. Es correcto. I went shopping. Mm -hmm. Okay. Teacher, Any en el order? caso, cuando se utilizan dos verbos, a veces no se le incorpora el, el tú. Es, si es el pasado continuo eh, o un tiempo continuo, presente continuo, pasado continuo, ahí no. No se agrega el tú. El tú solo se agrega para separar dos verbos en tiempo presente. Ok, thank you, teacher. 
Uh -huh. eh, pero en tiempo continuo, como el, lo que mencionó Aida, ahí no, no se utiliza el, el to, right? O uh -huh. en present continuous. Thank Any you. other question? La pregunta que teníamos ahí en la discusión, pues me puse a investigar. Y este, cuando hablamos del pasado, ya entendí, es cuando hacemos cosas que terminaron en el pasado y que ahí se quedaron. Pero en el pasado simple, ¿verdad? Y además existen otros tipos de pasado que todavía traemos al presente, ¿verdad? Esa era mi confusión, pero la aclaré. El continuo. Yeah. Exacto. No, the past continues is an action in progress at the same time yeah. as other things happen. El pasado yeah. continuo es una acción que estaba en progreso cuando fue interrumpida Continuo por otra. Por algo. Exacto. Ajá. Ahí se usa que... el while o when, ¿verdad, teacher? Generalmente. Ajá, ¿verdad? Se usa while o when generalmente. Por ejemplo, eh, um, por ejemplo, puedo decir, I was cooking when someone knocked the door. Uh -huh. yes. Yeah, uh -huh. I was doing this, but then something else happened. Algo más pasó. Y uh -huh. esa acción continua fue interrumpida. O me pueden preguntar, ¿qué estabas haciendo tal día, tal hora? Entonces, ahí también uso el, el past continuum. Por ejemplo, if you ask me, Um, what were you doing yesterday at noon? Mm -hmm. mm, I was having lunch with my kids. Eso era lo que estaba, esa era la acción en progreso a esa hora. No necesariamente siempre va a ser interrumpida. Si me está preguntando por algo en específico, ¿qué estaba haciendo a tal hora? Eh, what was the action in progress at that time, at that specific time? No, incluso, incluso me tomé la, la, la cuestión esa de, de los pasados porque a veces tenemos dos situaciones que queremos explicar en pasado y según lo que leí ayer, siempre hay un pasado más viejo que otro. ¿Verdad? Dando el had, el dinosaurio. Y que decía, uh, maybe you're talking about the present perfect. perfect el tiempo yeah. se llama... Presente perfecto, pero oh, no es. es el una past acción. perfect. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, el past perfect is another than ah, yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Vamos, o sea, yo uh, creo que en la uh, sección uh, vamos a ver uno de okay. estos. Okay. Mm -hmm. <ríe> sí, el present perfect es, es, es muy utilizado. Es para una acción que empezó en el pasado y continúa en el presente Exacto. o tiene algún um, efecto aún en el presente. Eh, for example, I can say, eh, yo he vivido acá, eh, tengo siete años, o sea, es algo que empezó en el pasado y sigue Exacto. aún. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I have lived here for seven years. It started in the past, but it continues into the present. So, Exacto. yeah, those are different functions yeah. Of, yeah. of that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so, any other question? Con la práctica, con speaking, con writing y todo eso, ya ustedes van como, ya no dicen, ay, qué tiempo voy a usar y, y todos <laughs> aquellos nombres gramaticales que nos dan dolor de cabeza, ya solo lo usa y ya, ya lo sabe, ya lo practicó, ya está ahí, ya lo saca en el momento de hablar y defenderse con ellos. But don't worry, that is practice. Uh -huh. Este, okay. bueno, yo había, había escuchado acerca de eso, de lo que están hablando ahorita del he, el he vivido, he hecho tal cosa, pues sí. pero yo pensé que estaba confundido también, pensé que era pasado continuo. No, el past continuo, todo lo que dice continuo lleva el ing, sí. ing. Uh -huh. Entonces, y el, los tiempos el, frase, todos van con el have. Ajá, el, 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 have. el have uh -huh. es como el e. El que le, Exacto. Es el que le es el e vivido. Uh -huh. Ese es el presente. Ese perfect. es el present perfect. Uh -huh. Ok. ¿Cómo le decimos en, 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 en español? Eso se llama horrible. 
español. <ríe> Gerundio, Lo ¿no? que le decimos el ado, edo, ido. Pretérito, no es que plus cuatro. <ríe> es cierto. <ríe> ah, lo que le conocemos con el ado, edo, ido. And it is the, simple, the present perfect. Es el present lo, perfect. Y lo decimos sin saber, ¿verdad, teacher? ¿Mm? Y a veces lo decimos sin saber, ¿verdad? That's correct. Solo lo usa y mejor sí. olvídese de cómo se llama. <risa> lo mismo pasa en, en inglés. De repente sí. usted lo va a usar y cómo se llamaba eso. <risa> Yo me acuerdo que en algún momento de la vida me aprendí el nombre de ese tiempo gramatical del lado he oído, pero creo que no lo tengo minutos antes del examen porque se me olvidó. <ríe> ok, solo para sobrevivir lo ocupamos un ratito. <ríe> All right. Is there any other question? If there are no more questions, we have the conversation uh, to talk about the simple past with the uh, verb be. Eh, vamos a movernos al pasado simple con el verbo be, que también ya discutimos y repasamos esto el día de ayer. Ahora lo vamos a practicar en la conversación. Okay, it is, how was your vacation? Uh, I have been living in this city. Yes, cool. Oh, wow. That is no. Uh, no. What's okay, this is this one? Okay, this is the conversation. Let's listen. Participants will have a chance to listen to a conversation where past of B is used. Hi to all, welcome to this session. We'll continue talking about simple past, but now I want you to find out the simple past of B. Listen to the conversation and figure it out. Don't miss next class where I'll explain the past of B. Let's listen. Hi Don, how was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time. But we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Okay, that's the conversation that you have in the platform. And as you see, it has like, okay, tiene como not una continuación, verdad? Uh -huh. So we're going to move to the other one that I have here because the one I have dealt with. I've told you before. Teacher, una pregunta. Hay una introducción cuando decía la señora. Oí la palabra figure out y siempre la escucho. No sé si es correcto ese, ese, ese frasal, creo que es. Es referente a, a resolver. Figure out. Mm, figure out. Uh, I, figure out. It's like, uh -huh, like uh, mm, como darse cuenta de algo. Ajá, uh -huh, uh, ok. Like realize, it's sim it's similar in meaning. Ah, uh -huh. uh, ok. Okay, um, anything else before we continue? Okay, so, uh, we have this one, it's a little bit different, and esta, esta conversación es similar a la que tienen en la plataforma y en su material, solamente cambian los dibujitos y, y una palabrita por acá. But what is the idea? La idea es que escuchen el resto de la conversación a ver qué es lo que pasó. Si se fijaron en la plataforma decía, uh, uh, quedaba así en continuación. Something incredible happened. And then the exercise is to listen the rest of the conversation and listen what happened. 
So I'm going to play the sound and you tell me what happened. What is that incredible thing that happened? Page 47, exercise nine, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What happened? So tell me, what happened? Well, like I said, I went surfing every day. One day, I entered a contest and I won. I got first prize. Wow, congratulations. But that's not all. Someone made a video of me surfing and posted it online. Do you want to see it? Sure. Do you want to listen again or you get the answer? Yeah. Could you listen again? Okay. Listen again. Page 47, exercise 9, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What happened? So, tell me, what happened? Well, like I said, I went surfing every day. One day, I entered a contest and I won. I got first prize. Wow! Congratulations! But that's not all. Someone made a video of me surfing and posted it online. Do you want to see it? Sure. All right. What happened? Uh, could be done uh, surfing every day, teacher, and, and win a first prize in course. I don't know. He got and a someone posted a video of him. Yeah. And yeah. somebody. The internet. Yeah. What is uh -huh. somebody watch him and post him? Okay. He won a prize. Uh-huh, excellent. And what else? Okay, I heard he won a prize. What else? Surfing every day. Uh-huh, he went surfing every day. He entered a contest. He won a prize. Yeah. Someone uh, recorded him. He won a what, excuse me? A uh, he won a prize. a prize. Ahí lo escribí en el chat. No sé si ven la burbujita. What mean? Prize means is like a premium. Like an award. Ajá, uh -huh, like an award. Ajá, uh -huh, es un premio, prize, an award. And someone posted a video? Yes. Yeah, yeah someone surfing. posted a video. Se me olvidó ponerla. Ah, yeah, something posted a video or his video on the web. Okay, really good. Now, uh, let's create the section uh, so we can practice and you have to continue with the conversation. Uh, like, for example, here you have to invent to be creative. Like, for example, you say, well, something incredible happened. But you have to continue with the conversation. Okay, tell me more. What happened? And then you say, I saw my boss swimming and he was attacked by a shark. Okay, something. Yeah, you have to invent, right, to continue the conversation. Okay. That's what we're going to do in groups. Uh, questions before? No questions? No teacher. Okay, I'm going to create the group so you can practice the conversation and remember to continue the conversation in your own way.
Teacher, a mí me regresó. Ok. Um, ¿Qué más? Right? Yes. La voy a buscar a donde no, no me aparece. <laughs> Qué raro, normalmente me aparece, no están fuera del room. No sé, empecé a, el mouse me agarraba y empecé a apretar todo y me sacó. Sí, ha de ser alguna falla porque no me aparece. Rosa sí me aparece, que la puedo mover. Aquí está, la voy a mover ahorita. Ok, gracias. Sí.
No, teacher, short time. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> you needed more time. You will have time to practice for the last exercise. Um, we need to practice um, speaking. I see the rest of you are still practicing. Okay. How do you say orilla del mar? A la orilla del mar. That's right. A la orilla del mar. Yeah. I was walking a la orilla del mar, por ejemplo. I was walking on the sand. Right. On the sand. No existe yeah. la palabra orilla. No, en El Salvador ¿eh? <risa> es que me parece haberla escuchado en otro lado. Yeah, I, I know it exists. Uh -huh. me... Sai. Teacher. No. Yes. Y swim en ver irregular o ver regular. Swim. Sí. Cambia a Zoom, teacher, o a Swam. Zoom, es verdad. Swam. Swam, allá. Swam. Swam. Yeah, I, I know. Let me write it in the chat. The middle of the night. Swam. Hey, that is at the sea, sure. at the seashore. Ah, ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. Thank you, teacher. A la orilla del mar. Yes. Ok. A la seashore. Ok. Ok. Any other question? Ok. So we're going to move to watch the next video about the simple past with B, which is something that we started yesterday. Um, yeah, the past. In this session, participants will study the past of B. Questions and short answers will be taught. Hello, nice to have you back. I'll make reference of the past of the verb B. Let's start. Past of B. Were you in Hawaii? Yes, I was. Was the weather okay? No, it wasn't. Were you and your cousin on vacation? Yes, we were. Were your parents there? No, they weren't. How long were you away? I was away for a week. How was your vacation? It was excellent. Contractions. Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. The past of be, am and is, was, are, were. To ask questions using the past of be, we do it this way. Was, were, plus subject, plus complement, plus question mark. Were you my student? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was she sad? Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Were they late? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Remember, we used be to express feelings, conditions, estates, and descriptions either in present or past. Now you try answering the following questions. Were you my student before? Were you happy yesterday? Were you late this morning? Okay, so we studied this chart in the video and we already discussed this yesterday. When are we going to use was and where are we going to use were? This is it. We're going to use was when the subject is I, he, she, or it. We're gonna use were when the subject is we, you, or they. 
and remember do not combine them with the other part of the simple past with the other verbs. So let's do this exercise together using was and were. We have the question here, you in Los Angeles last weekend. What is missing here? Where? 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 Were you in Los Angeles last weekend? No, I, I wasn't. 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 wasn't, sorry. I wasn't. wasn't. No, I wasn't. Yeah. I, I was. was. I was, was. I was, was. In, in San Francisco. Francisco. How what? Was, was it? How was it? Uh-huh. It was, it was great. It was great. great. It was great. But it was foggy. It was, it was foggy it was and cool as usual. How long were you? Your parents. Were your parents, were your were your parents, parents, your parents in, in Europe. Europe? Okay. They were, 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 they were there were for two weeks. Where well, the were they? Were they, they in London at full time? Full time, yes. Yeah. No, they, no were. They, they, they were. Weren't. 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 They were. They also they went to Paris. Went to Paris. Where, are you? where are you away last week? Were you away were last you week? Always week? Yes, yes, I was. I was. I was. Yes, I was. Yes, I was in Istanbul. Istanbul. Really? really? How really? long oh, were you there? Were, were you there? Were you there? For almost a week. I was. I was there on business. Business. Teacher, right. en este, y en este caso yeah. no es continuo, ¿verdad? Usando was, were, ¿verdad? Si en las oraciones no, no incluimos sí. otro verbo, no cambia, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok. Teacher, uh -huh. yo algo me confundo cuando en el caso de, de, del tú, que a veces habla del tú como que quizás es como de posesión, quizás, no, no sé, pero yo cuando veo you, o a veces you, por ejemplo, le quiero poner where, pero a veces habla algo de, de su, de ella, por ejemplo, y tendría que ser was. No sé si me doy a entender, teacher. Uh... Y yo creo que se está confundiendo con los posesios. Porque, es correcto, pero yo, eh, Sí, este en este caso, vaya. Aquí les puse la diapositiva. Voy a utilizar was cuando el sujeto sea I, he, she, it. Voy a utilizar were cuando el sujeto es we, you, o they. Pero en este caso, lo que usted me menciona, el your o el her, eso no es un sujeto. Ese es un possessive. Por ejemplo, aquí, eh, por aquí creo que hay uno. Los papás, cuando está hablando de los papás. Y number two, how long were your parents? So, en este caso, este es un possessive. Aquí no es pronombre personal. Ok. Y si se fija también se escriba de, Ajá, es un possessive adjective. Es un adjetivo posesivo. Esto no es un subject. En este caso se toma parents para word plural, ¿verdad? Ajá, se toma. Con, el sujeto son los papás. Tus papás. Uh -huh. Ese es el sujeto. Uh -huh. No sé si me expliqué bien. Yes, teacher. Yes. Thank you. Ok, you're welcome. Uh, that somebody else has another question? No more questions? No teacher. No, teacher. Ok, si no hay más preguntas, I'm going to check attendance. Vamos a chequear asistencia y luego vamos a practicar las preguntas. Agregué un par de, de preguntas más adicionales a las que ya tenía la, Yo... la presentación. Entonces, por eso se las mandé antes de la clase por WhatsApp, porque lo había modificado un poco. Eh, y con esto estaríamos terminando la sección 2. Ya nos están 
auditando porque esta semana ya tendrían que tener terminada la sección 1, la 2, la 3 y el midterm exam. Tienen que tener hecho todo eso para esta semana. Ok. Así es que si van atrasaditos tienen que correrle para completar eso y no... Ya para estos días ya van a empezar a pedirle los papeles, ya están auditando para ver si ustedes están cumpliendo los requisitos para reservarles para el próximo módulo. Así que es bien importante que tengan todo esto en orden. Es cierto, teacher, a mí me llegó ahora un correo y dije, si no hemos terminado, pero sí, está mandando a pedir toda la documentación. Sí, porque es, es un papeleo un poco largo, por eso lo hacen con mucha anticipación. Y aún así, imagínense, con toda la anticipación nos pararon como dos semanas porque Exacto. el papeleo no estaba listo. Entonces, sí, imagínense, tardan más y en todo eso se enfrían muchos. Sí, yo tengo ¿Sí? una pregunta. ¿Sí? Por ejemplo, ¿cómo terminamos este módulo? Y si por razones personales yo no puedo seguir el siguiente, ¿me puedo incorporar a algo? Se tienen que cancelar antes. O sea, si usted desde ya ahorita ya sabe que no va a poder y le piden los papeles, antes de que sus papeles se, se, se sometan a, al proceso, tiene que decirles. Porque ya una vez inscrita, si usted no termina el número, ya lo toman como abandono y ahí va a tener problemas. Pero digamos, tiene que puedo, cancelar, antes. Ajá, te, puedo cancelar, pero digamos, al otro mes lo puedo retomar. Sí. Ok, let's see. Aida María. Present teacher. Alejandro Ernesto. Present teacher. Alfredo Antonio. Present teacher. Ana Trinidad. Present teacher. Carlos Armando. Present teacher. Claudia Stephanie. Claudia Stephanie. Diego Edgardo. Present teacher. Present. Dios me asistito. Present. Edwin de Jesús. Present teacher. Edwin Jaciel. Emma Tatiana. Present. Emily Yamile. Emily Yamile. Fátima Verónica. Present. Glenda Yamile. Present. Irving Norberto. Present. Jacqueline Jennifer. Present. Josué Mauricio. Catherine Abigail. María Catalina. Present. María Eugenia. Present teacher. Norma Evelyn. Present teacher. Okeli de Jesús. Present teacher. Oscar David. Present teacher. Osmel Antonio. Here, teacher. Reina Carolina. Present teacher. Rosa Guadalupe. Present teacher. Sara y Beatriz. Walter Rafael. Present teacher. Yasmin. Present teacher. Okay, thank you so much. We finished with the attendance, so we're going to move and continue with the speaking Teacher, practice. perdón por si pasó Lisa, me desconectó ahorita el inter. 
Ah, sí, así vi, pero sí le puse que estaba. Perfecto, gracias. Vi que se le cayó ahí. Gracias. Ok, so let us practice with these questions. We are going to practice in the main section. Um, so lo vamos a hacer en la sección principal porque pues en todo lo que hacemos un breakout. Oh no, yo creo que sí tenemos tiempo para hacer un lo, en breakout. Ok, so we are going to practice these questions and uh, let's practice first pronunciation. Let us repeat. What did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? yesterday? What time did you go to bed last night? What time did you go to bed last night? What time did you get up this morning? What time did you get up this morning? What did you have for breakfast this morning? What did you, did you do have for breakfast this morning? What time did you arrive in class today? What time what did you time arrive did you in class today? Were you late? Were you late? Were you late? Were you late? Did you do any exercise Were last week? Did you do did any you exercise last week? Yes, yes. What kind? What kind? Yes. What kind? Yes. What kind? What kind? Did you watch TV yesterday? Did you do watch TV yesterday? Yes, what did you watch? If yes, what did you watch? Did you do homework yesterday? Did you do homework yesterday? If yes, what kind? If yes, what kind? Did you watch TV yesterday? Did you watch the video? How much money did you spend? Yes, what did you watch? Did you buy? Did you do homework yesterday? Did you do homework yesterday? Did you homework yesterday? If yes, what kind? Yes, what kind? How much money did you spend yesterday? How much oh, money did you spend yesterday? What did you buy? What did you buy? What did you buy? Did you read a book or magazine last week? Did you read a book? Did you read a book or magazine last week? If no, why not? If not, why not? Did you eat at a restaurant last week? Did you eat at a restaurant last week? Did you eat at a restaurant last week? If yes, what did you eat? What did you eat? Did you get a haircut last month? Did you get a haircut last month? If yes, what did you, where did you get it? If yes, were you happy yesterday? Were you happy yesterday? If yes, why or why not? If yes, why not? Why not? Why not? Do you have any question about this um, vocabulary or the questions itself? No questions? No, for me, teacher. Uh, uh, teacher, I have a question. What, yes, Glenda? What is, what's the meaning to hire code? Hair cut. Hair cut. Last month. Corte, corte de cabello. Our hair cut. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. Thank you. Cabello. You're welcome. Any other questions? Según de la palabra cabello con corte, la teacher. Yes. Yes. Se une. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. you use, did you get it? Le está preguntando obtener, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. ¿Dónde, ah, ¿Dónde lo hiciste, digamos? Uh -huh. que yes. The name of the hair salon in this case. For example, oh, I get it in the Guadalupe Salon. <laughs> you mentioned the place. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so what you're going to do is to practice asking and answering this question. Um, let's see, what time um, 
What time did you get up this morning, Sarai? Sarai. Hola. What time did you get up this morning? Mm. At, at 7 a.m. Okay, can you say the complete sentence? I. I. Mm -hmm. Got up. Got up. Yes. Got up. Thank you so much. I got up at 7 a.m. this morning. So the idea is that you practice uh, changing the verbs to past. Okay. Uh, okay. Let us continue. Another volunteer? Me. Okay, Aida, can you ask a question to one of your classmates? Uh, sure. I don't have the question. I can't see it. I can see the question. Okay. Okay. Question number two. Uh, what time uh, did you go to bed last night, um, Walter? Okay. I went to my bed last night at 10 p.m. Excellent. Thank you so much. Uh, continue, Walter. You ask a question now. Okay. Uh, question number four. What did you have for breakfast this morning, Oscar? Wow, uh, I don't, I, I ate bread with coffee. Okay, you <laughs> ate a semita with coffee. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, good job. Continue, Oscar. Okay. I want to see. Um, what time did you arrive in class today, Sarah y Beatriz Ramirez? What time did you arrive in class today? At time, I arrived at like. Okay, good, Sarai. Continue. Sarai. Uh, Yes. yes, you can ask another classmate. We have uh, Edwin, Edwin, Maria, Reina, Fatima. Walter, did you read a book or magazine last week? What? I'll repeat again. I can hear you very well. Did you read a book or magazine last week? Um. Yes. I read I read a book uh, I read uh, a book and last week. Okay, good job, uh, Walter. Ask another classmate. Try to okay. ask someone who hasn't participated. Okay. Did you get a haircut last month, uh, Okelly? What is the question, Walter? Uh, did you did you get a haircut last month? Yes. Yes. Where did you get it? Um. Teacher, what is get it? A donde? A donde yeah, tuvo su corte? At okay. Machos Barber Shop. <laughs> In my house. Oh, in your house. <laughs> okay, yes. okay, Lee, continue. Ask a question to another classmate. Okay. Uh, 
Emma Tatiana, were you happy yesterday? Mm, Why are you I don't happy? know. <laughs> what? So-so. Mm, so Okay. So. Why so-so? Um, uh, I because was you don't watch me. <laughs> I played theater all day. Okay. You were busy all day. Okay. Uh, Emma, continue. I teach and say, Okay, you have a lot of questions. You can ask Fatima, Irving, Maria Catalina, Alejandro, Reina, Carlos Armando. Okay. Dinora. Um, quiero ver quién me aparezca primero aquí. <laughs> que no haya participado, Ajá, please. No haya participado. Quiero ver Edwin. ¿Cuál de los dos? Ay, hay dos Edwin. Ay, no sabía. Aguilar, dice. Aguilar, creo que es el apellido. De Jesús Aguilar. Ok. Um, how much money did you spend yesterday? Excuse me. Repeat. How much money did you spend yesterday? Uh, I spent money twenty dollar. Okay, I spent twenty dollars. Okay, all right. So, um, as additional practice, you can try to answer those questions by yourself. And with this, we finish the section number two. Tomorrow we will start section number three, but remember to go ahead and finish the platform at least up to the midterm exam. So you have to complete section one, two, three, and the midterm exam okay. by Thursday, the latest. Okay, so try to. Uh, thank you for joining today's section, and I hope that you sleep well and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 B